So you've purchased a $180 hunting license. Now you're looking at yourself and saying, what am I gonna do with this thing? So today we are gonna discuss the opportunities that California actually does have out there for us non-residents to maybe make use of that hunting license. We're gonna cover the, the draw species uh, as well as the over the counter hunts uh, and species that are available in that. Uh, just as well as share uh, the hunt opportunities and species that that has, the private land hunts, license requirements, and application deadlines. So the draw species that are available in California, desert bighorn sheep, elk, all three subspecies, Thule, Rocky, and Roosevelt, uh, as well as they have deer, mule deer and blacktail, and antelope. When it comes to over-the-counter, we have uh, quite a variety of uh, animals that you can hunt over there. Uh, the deer, we have mule deer tags and blacktail tags that you can pick up, as well as bear tags that are over the counter in the fall, uh, wild boar tags, and turkey permits. For the share hunt opportunities, uh, SHARE is basically the Shared Habitat Alliance for Recreational uh, Enhancement program that they put in place, uh, I think about five years ago in 2017. Uh, the program is uh, set up for the landowners to receive uh, compensation for providing access to or through their land. Uh, started out mostly as like an elk thing, um, but currently uh, they have Thule elk, Roosevelt elk, uh, and Rocky Mountain elk uh, opportunities within that that you can apply for. Um, and then for other species like the deer and the, uh, the wild boar stuff, um, you can apply and gain access to land, uh, private land, to go hunt as well. California has a private land opportunity with their PLM tags. Uh, these tags are essentially landowner tags uh, that you can uh, go out and buy. They have a place on their website that you can uh, you know, contact the landowners or some of the operators who are selling these permits. Usually, especially when it comes to elk tags, these permits are booked for years out. Um, so if, you know, hunting Thule elk, uh, you have the aspirations of a North American 29, Thule elk <laughs> is very hard to come by in the draw. Uh, maybe you want to get on the books uh, a couple years out trying to purchase this hunt and go over there and, and fulfill your dream of killing Thule elk. Um, but there is elk tags, antelope tags, deer tags, bear tags, uh, that are available through this PLM program. So to apply in California, uh, adults are gonna have to purchase an adult hunting license, uh, and junior 16 and younger would have to purchase a junior hunting license. It is a reduced fee for children. Um, when it comes to application fees uh, for sheep, elk, and antelope, you're gonna have to have a minimal application fee to get in, and then you'd only pay for the tag if you're successful in the draw. When it comes to deer, you do have to front the entire permit fee. Um, unsuccessful non-resident applicants can request the difference between uh, the non-resident deer permit fee and the resident deer permit fee, um, or you can select one of the tags um, that is still available after the draw to be your deer permit. For application deadlines, the big game application deadline takes place in early June. Uh, and for share and for the elk hunts um, that share that share has is mid-July. Um, they usually update their share page in the middle of May uh, to see the, the current hunts for the upcoming year. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a shout. Uh, and if you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe.